And all right, just as someone's predicted, because again, them doing uh, a chilled raid as well as a chilled Zenkai, kind of like set us up to have either an LOE release or a Bardock release. And it's been a while since we got a Bardock in the game. We have Legends Limited Bardock. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this guy is cool. I know, uh, I think the critique right now with this card is he's uh, up in the air and how, that's how good he is just due to the fact that in order for his nullification or his um, endurance to activate, you have to have an ally dead. But that's fine. Uh, guess what? Rising Rush is in the game. And if you lose a character, which a lot of us will have, you know, will go through when you play the game, his abilities will activate. I think this guy is fantastic. His animations are on point. And I think the trailer that they had for the actual um, for the video, video and stuff was incredible. I'm hyped. I'm sold. Comment section below. Are you yay or nay on Bardock? Are you for him? Are you against him? Let me know your your your, your stuff. We like seeing that on the first summon. And let's see where the community stands. Uh, again, I like to toss this out as the question for the next video. Well, I guess the next release. What uh, Legends Limit unit we getting next month? Let me know your best guesses down below. I feel like at this point, I already know where the game is going to go. Can we get... No, we cannot. I was hoping that he would just die here. But we did get uh, Mercenary Tower in the beginning. I was kind of hoping that we would get Nimbus because Nimbus is probably one of the best animations to get in the beginning. And, and yeah, but yeah, good news is uh, it's double, uh, let, what do you call it, power? Um, double Z power, which is like insane. You know, we had triple Z power back with the other release. We had triple Z power with the last release, but this is awesome. Like you pull him like, like twice, you're good to go. You're good to go. They need to keep that. Keep that in the game, man. I, I will probably never see Triple Z power ever again. That was probably a test that they had with the Goku Vegeta and the Trunks banner. But I'm all for this, you know. Anything that's more than 6 hours Z power, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. So, yeah. And also, I, I, in, in like two weeks or something like that, this banner is going to reset and be something different. I, I, I don't really know. I really kept up with the news yet. I just saw the Bardock. He's flashy. He's a same character, which means you can put him in infinite teams. I'm here for it. And the best part, you give me another excuse to run him with Ultra Gogeta. So I'm here for that as well. So, uh, well, first of all, I'm getting too excited. I mean, for all I know, I'm about to get through uh, this, you know, entire summon video and pull nothing but sadness and depression. But I mean, I get at least we have the the pity system for that. And I hope I don't go through the pity system because the pity system will only give me 600 Z power. This is the one time when I'm looking at the pity system. I'm like, well, how good is it really? <laughs> Yo, can we get a Vegeta animation on this? I don't think I've seen the Vegeta animation with blue in literally months um in case you're new to the game if vegeta pop if you lose this fight right here and vegeta pops out which we didn't see it is guaranteed new unit and it's only one new unit on the banner for sparkings which means it would be it would be the bardock and we got vegeta speaking of vegeta when i said i wanted to see vegeta that's not what i meant i wanted to see him actually pop up uh in the background and do the final flash with the kamehameha and get me what i needed like this <laughs> It was Bardock, I guess. Dude, that Bardock was so good when he first came out. Uh, it's funny looking back at so many units that came out in this game and how monstrous they were. This Bardock's, um, when his kit really kicked in and the striking started like doing damage, it was just obnoxious. Your health would melt away. Speaking of a lot of damage, I'm actually kind of excited that they're doing the, the Android 21 Zenkai. I'm gonna skip this, this is gonna be trash, right? It's trash. The Android 21 Zenkai, I'm excited for because I have always been a big fan of that card. And for the longest, when that card came out, I ran region. And you guys know me, when I run region, either I absolutely love it or I hate it. And I have, I have not been a fan of region in so long that if we get to the point where 21 is actually really, really fun, I'm gonna go back and use her again because she was great. I love the strike damage that she was putting out. Let's get this because I feel like it's gonna be trash. And I was right. We got Bardock in the end, but not the one we we're looking for. All right, step. Oh wait, uh, I thought this was the free step. Can we get Bardock on the freebie? That'd be a nice way to go about it. No, we've got three pods. I'm gonna basically skip three pods every single time. And good news is, look at all the sparkings we're getting. Good news is, because of the nature of the game, um, if we actually skip, it'll go right to the new unit summon, which is kind of nice. Uh, but yeah. Nimbus! No Nimbus. All right, we're going to skip this. One. Every three-pod summon, I'm just going to skip. Just because ain't nobody got time to sit. Was that an LF? <laughs> it was! An LF uh, Frieza. One of the reasons why I'm excited for the Zenkai is no one's going to run Chilled. Let's be real. That Chilled is not going to be anywhere good enough to put him on the main bench. The reason why we're going to use that Chilled is to further boost this Frieza on top of the fact that he adds 12, uh, not 12, like what, 20% to health to LOE units. So you're gonna want to run him on anything freezer related. 
Uh, on top of the fact that he's going to be double Zenka buff in that freezer. This is the first uh, uh, multi summon where we actually didn't get a sparking, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it'll be the first. It'll, it'll be like the perfect setup for you know doing more uh, damage for the purple lens limited freezer, and then he'll get the double Zenka buff as well. I don't know how much useful it's going to be to be honest, but I feel like it's going to definitely put him up there in regards of like this is great. Eloise is still going to suck though. <laughs> you know. I made my video the other day, and I, I basically said LOE sucks, and I had some people who were like not agreeing with me, but hey, I see people, you know, in, in 70, rank 70 with, with, you know, LOE. Yeah, no shit. Literally, if you're good at the game, you can take the worst team in the game and get up to the level 70. It just means you play a lot. But when you when you compare LOE compared to like literally any other top tier team in the game, it doesn't even come close. Like at all. Skip this. Uh, and I made the right call. It doesn't come close at all. Let's be real. LOE, Frieza fans have been suffering in this game for a while. The last Frieza we got was an EX Frieza that sucked. And EX units were like somewhat usable. That Frieza came out and even Goresh was like, damn, this sucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunately just uh, the nature of, of liking Frieza in this game. It's just, you know, when we finally get a new Frieza, man, is he good. But uh, the, the team does not age that well months down the line. If we got more freaking releases, sure, but I, again, you can only release so many units amongst the Frieza family uh, where you can, you know, keep releasing something frequently to, like, keep the team relevant. That's why they changed the powerful opponents, you know, and it's something that, that, that sucks, you know, I wish that we would get more, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, this is going to be an LF. It's not. You know what? I'm going to skip because I feel like, that's right, I'm going to get nothing. Alright, back at it again. Um, hopefully I can get this within 15,000 crystals. Oh, we'll see what's gonna happen. Come on, game! Again, uh, due to it, this being essentially a summon video, um, especially in January, <laughs> we'll keep the edits pretty simple. Because I know usually people just want to hop in and see what, what's actually pulled and stuff like that. You know, you want to see this animation pop up over here, and after that, see what pops up at the end. Ooh! You get the instant transmission Kamehameha. I always like seeing that one. Uh, but let's see where this is gonna go. I feel like. You know what I also want to pull is another purple cell. Cell, I, I think I only have like five stars. I still have never used them, which is kind of funny. That and Trunks. I have never used that Trunks when he came out. Uh, just because I don't really like running hybrids, and I'm not a big fan of running uh, Vegeta plan either. Anyways, um, let's skip. This is going to be probably bad, right? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I, didn't, I, th I thought I hit skip. I guess I did. Wait, 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 wait. It took a second for my brain to realize I hit skip. And I'm like, why would it skip? Because I thought I hit skip the first time with the Gohan. And we got my boy! Da -da -na -na -na, da -da -na -da -na. By the way, don't, don't play that song because it's copyright. You are going to get a strike. Or you're going to get blocked or something like that. But Yes! Bardock, my boy. All right. Now I'm happy. I'm happy. And what, what, what is he going to be at? Let me, let's see this. Let's see this. He is going to be at three stars. At three stars. I also... Ooh! What does he do? Is it, is it one of those twisty ones or it's not? Let me see if I can, uh, without. Oh! He just transformed. There we go! That's cool. By the way, I call this the transforming Bardock um, in my video. On my actual re Oh, that was a free step too. On my reaction, and I had some people like, he's not transforming. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you call it when a saying goes from black hair to yellow hair? Transforming! <laughs> I get it. Technically, the, the transforming word. You stick it to basically anything that actually is an in-game like transformation or something like that. Sure, I get that. Oh, we got uh, Fasha as well. But is he still transforms? Even though it's only in the ultimate, he still transforms. Shut up! <laughs> and he does it such a cool way. God, I love that LF. I literally, this is the first time where they um, released a unit where I I sat back and re-watched the actual like trailer like four times. Because I was like, this is so cool. Because number one, you gotta admit, the Legends team snapped on that editing. They killed that. That was so good in the actual trailer. And on top of the fact that the animations for the car look beautiful as well. Like, I, like, look, I, I love Bardock. I'm a big, big fan of this character. Like, and, yeah, I'm here for it. You know what, I'm gonna skip this. Because at this point, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get nothing. What sucks now is I wish that when you hit skip again, um, maybe you have, like, an option in, in the menu where if you hit skip, it goes back to the new unit again. Because I want to hit skip on all of these to see if I pull any more copies. Um, but what I don't want to do is go through every sim individual summon and then you skip only to see that it did pop up again. Because seeing that pop up a second time is hype. It is super hype. Oh, uh, I was going to say, can we get a Bardock to pop in? Yeah, I guess not. You know what? If we get Bardock to pop in one more time, 
Uh, uh, I think the actual summon animation, that'll be so hype. Do I skip this? You know, I wanna let this one rock. I think what I'll do is every hype animation, I'm gonna let it rock. And when I say hype, I mean stuff like maybe destroy Namek, instant transmission, come out, out. Basically, all I'm gonna skip for the rest of this video is going to be anything that has to do with like three pods, not just, there's that freezer. Was this the one that just, no, 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 it was a different freezer, this freezer. Oh, just Bulma. I'm gonna skip this because I feel like this is going to be nothing. Look at that, I was right. All right, let's get back into it. Go cool, okay. And here we go, step uh, five, and then we get uh, step six. The freebie, the freebie. By the way, also, are you summoning on this banner? Because I feel like the community was kind of split on the release for this. I don't know why. Oh, we got Ella Frieza again. Nice. Can't do anything with that. The community was kind of split on the release of this card for some reason. Again, you give me any Bardock, I'm here for it. Uh, especially when it's flashy as this. But I feel like people were just super in the middle. They didn't know what they wanted. Um, so let me know where you guys stand with it. I mean, like I said, he's cool. Anytime a Sans release, you can do so much with this. On, on, on. There's so many teams you can run them on, which is great. Uh, we're going to skip this because I feel like there's going to be nothing special. And I was right. We got Hercule, my favorite, everyone's favorite. What year is it? Okay. Yo, imagine uh, Hercule gets a Zenka. How how annoying he'll deal. He'll be he'll be to deal with. Is all I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna let this on rock for a second just because. There could be a lot that can happen here. We are in space. Not that space dictates anything. It's just a basic change of scenery. But I feel like every time in space, I get the cooler animations. Nope, we just get a burst. Skip this. And uh, my. My oh my. Great. Awesome. Thank you, game. Give me another one. Okay. I'm excited, though. Like, the fact that I got uh, Bardock once, and I still got my uh, LL powers that, from, that I farmed from the past. So that man is easily about to get to six stars if I don't pull another one. But if I get to like seven stars, it's, it's what I always aim for. It's one, if I get to seven stars, I'm good to go. I'm done. I am done. Can I get a flash win here? No, I cannot. All right. I'm going to just skip this so we can get right to the goodies. And we got nothing. I got excited because I saw that, but then I saw that it was uh, already maxed out. So it was nothing. I know. First world um, whale problems. I think what I do is, is when I get to the end, I'll do enough for a full rotation and then we'll call it a video. Keep it nice and simple. Can I get trunks? No trunks. How about Bardock? If we get Bardock to pop in, it'll be uh, iconic. Or don't. That, that's cool too. That's cool. No, that's fine. It's fine. That's fine. Do your thing, Frieza. Do your thing. Hey, go ahead and die so we can get. Uh, nope, we just want to go into a burst. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and skip and. <laughs> Let's go! Oh! I'm, I'm so happy I didn't skip that one. My gut told me rhyme. Let this one rock. Let this one rock. Trust me. Trust me. Yo, can we get another one? Now I'm getting greedy. Can I get another one? Because now we're we're in a seven star range. Come on, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. No, we got Topo instead. My favorite card to get in this game. I hate this card so much. Bardock. That Bardock was so cool when he first came. No. No! <laughs> Bro! Okay. I win. I win. I'm quitting you. We got, we got Toro as well. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm going to go play a lottery tomorrow. Sorry, guys. Last video ever. This is my final video. My final video. This is my final video. Look at that. We, I'm done. I'm good. It was, it was fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We're good to go. We are good to go. You know what? I'm not even doing another rotation. We're going to go ahead and finish these steps, and I'm ending the video right there. <laughs> I don't need... I, I'm good. I'm not even going to use my Z power. I'm saving my Z powers for, for the inevitable Beerus we get one day. Got nothing there. We got another Fasha, which is nice. I would never ever run Bardock with Team um, with Team Bardock. You could, but I look. I'm, I'm cool. I rather I'd rather just run it with, with 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 Gogeta or any former Saints that are available in the game and call it a day. All right, last one. Can we get one more final? Mo I'm gonna let this one rock because it's the last multi of the video, and then I'm gonna get to recording. Expect a PvP video tomorrow. Um, something I guess my ask for is, is and I always ask this in the past, but what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer if I do PvP videos with friends? I think what I want to try to do is I like doing the stuff I do with Dada where I have Dada basically tell me what to do because it's a little bit different. I mean, again, if you want to see high-end PvP gameplay, you can go to, to D3, you go Resh, anybody else. I could hop in and do the typical ranked videos, which is basically going to be just cookie cutter stuff that I've always been doing. But I like to switch it up every now and then. And the stuff I've been doing with Dado has been fun where I have him tell me what to do and it's just horrible. Everything goes wrong. <laughs> Having someone tell you in the ear and backseat game for you in Legends is the worst thing in the world. You guys should try it. Bardock. Nah. Opposite of Bardock. 
You guys should try it. Trust me, it sucks. <laughs> uh, especially when it's an idiot yelling, yelling in your ear. Which I guess is like you watching one of my videos. Yeah. Alright. Last card is going to be sell, and that's that's it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. Yep, that's it. Anyways, today was a win. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll see you in the comment section below. Peace.